YouTube and welcome to my channel Jules Craft Room. It's Saturday the 4th of September and um, the start of a new week so I thought I'd show you what I got up to so far. Um, first we'll start off with some mail. I had this mail and I was expecting some bits and pieces but do you know I just couldn't make out what it was. It really feels solid. As you can see it's not, it's quite thin. And I thought, I don't know what I've ordered, so I thought maybe it's something my husband's ordered in my name. It turned out it was wool. I've never seen that before. It's vacuum packed. So look at that. I hope it comes, I hope it pops up nice. Um, yeah, the, I think these are 100 gram balls and um, just vacuum packed in these uh, things. So I thought I'd open one, open it and see. Uh, See if uh, this is um, for the um, ballerina cardigans that I'm making for my granddaughters. Um, so yeah, so here we are. They're lovely and soft. Um, as you can see, uh, it's double knit and uh, lovely and fluffy and they're 100 gram wool. Supposedly, I only need one ball to do um, each shrug as long as it's short sleeved. So um, I've got a blush pink, and then um, and this is a ruby red, and a lovely white one. But yes, but now they're, um, they're coming alive again. But yeah, I'm looking forward to doing those. So um, I'll just show you the pattern. Right, so that is the pattern. I'm going to be do it, probably doing the short sleeve. I might try and do the long sleeve, I don't know. It really depends on how much wool I have. I could possibly do three quarter, that might work. Um, it does say that you can do, you need, yes, it says you need two balls for the long sleeve, even for the smallest sizes. So um, we'll see. But uh, yeah, so that is uh, the little shrugs I'm doing. One each for the granddaughters for Christmas. And then I'll be doing the matching ballet skirts as well. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that came. So that was good. And um, then I was doing a dress for my Luna um, to go with the outfit that I did for my granddaughter, which I think you can just see up there. Um, you can see there. Shall I turn it up a bit? Yeah, you can see there and you can see her new Luna. And um, I've made the little dress. Here it is. Put that back down there. Ah, it look cute. And I put a little bow on it. And that's out of the um, book, the Luna book Friends. Luna and her friends. Um, where is it? Oh, it's on my stand. Uh, Luna, Luna, Luna and her friends. And um, yeah, so that's out of there. And it's a little tie. So you just tie the shoulders up like that. But it was quite a simple, um, simple piece to put together. You've got, um, it's got a bit of lining just for the, the top part. So, um, and then you pull it through. You can see that I've done all neatly round there. I've um, overlocked and I've overlocked the skirt and then turned it over. So, and I've done down, down the ditch down here just to hold this in place, this part here. But um, yes, yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. And I'll insert a picture of, um, of it on Luna just up here. Um, but yes, really chuffed with that. So that was good. So, and then um, I started to make, um, you know, I bought the uh, Luna a shrug and a ballet dress. I'm gonna make one each for the granddaughter's Lunas. And um, so I started on that because then I'm gonna make the granddaughter's the bigger version, which I've just showed you. I started on that and on this beautiful wool. Oh, so gorgeous and soft and very similar to, um, it's just obviously a thinner, smaller version. That's the double knit. So it's gonna be fluffy, so it's gonna look very similar. Um, and um, where is that? And I've done a sleeve so far. It was a lot quicker than I thought it'd be. I thought with that thin yarn, it'll take for ages, but it was a lot quicker than I thought it'd be. So that's one sleeve. I think we've got to leave it on the stitch holder and then there will be 
because it is raglan so I think there will be a bit more to add to it but now I've got to do the other sleeve but um, yeah so that's really cute so uh, went together quite quick so I'm hoping I might be able to get two out of this because that didn't make much of a dent in the wool but we shall see because um, that would be handy so and I found I don't know if I remember saying to you that I had um, a cross stitch and I said it was a dinosaur picture in my book and um, I found it. I don't think I've touched it since Christmas, but I found it. So I thought I'd show you what I've done so far. And here it is. There. So as you can see, beautiful little dinosaurs. So still got quite a bit to do. Um, that's the picture. So, um, still got quite a bit to do. Yes, yeah, so I've got just those bits done so far. But, uh, yes, and that's for my grandsons, Ben and Josh. So, uh, but at least I found it now. And I've stuck a picture in my um, project book. So, I might be making them, might be actually doing something with it. And I also found my um, latch hook rug cushion that I'd started for one of my granddaughters, cat one. So that's just been started. So I'm going to um, carry on with that as well. So at least they're in the project book now and I can see what I'm doing. Um, so yes, and I've uh, finished Luna's dress. So I've put Luna's dress there, that's the material I use. And that's it on Luna there, and I finished. So that's done. So uh, yeah, so... Um, Right, well, I'm going to carry on doing the cardigan and um, I might do bits of the other projects in the book and uh, I'll get back to you maybe tomorrow. Morning, it's Tuesday the 7th and uh, I finished Luna's cardigan, her ballet wrap um, from the kit off of uh, Cool Crafting and uh, doesn't she look gorgeous? So... Um, it went really quickly. I was quite surprised. Um, it's a beautiful little cardigan. Um, the ribbon came with the kit. And when you do it, you um, it, the detail of some um, sort of like holes along here so you can thread um, the lace through. Um, yeah, it, it was, you join the sleeves on. When you get to here, you join the sleeves on and then you work your way up all in one piece. So where you've got this edge here, which looks like it's been joined together, it's not. It's just, um, it's where you um, knit two together and that gives you that line. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's been done, but it's beautiful. Really chuffed with it. And the amazing thing was, is I have that much wool. I've weighed this wool and there's 20 grams left and it's a 25 gram ball. So that means I only use five grams for this cardigan so that means in theory i should be able to make all four out of this one ball so um i'm going to start on the next one and uh work my way through and see uh, yeah if i can make all four out of them one each for the grandkids granddaughters and of course one for my luna um so yes yeah, so i was really pleased with that the other thing um and of course i filled it in my diary that i finished I don't know if you can see, yeah, that I've finished the cardigan. There's a picture of it there. And um, I've added on the next page that, that I'm starting the second one. So there, it says second lunar. So I'm going to start the second lunar cardigan. And if you look here, I've made a start on the uh, one for the granddaughters, the white one. That's there. So I'll show you what I've done so far. I have done the back and that is the back and you it, you actually knit the tie so um, and then the front will go on and there'll be a tie on the front and then you'll tie it round but that is the back and you can see it's gorgeous it's so soft so yeah so that is the back so that's the white one and what I think I'll do if I end up making her Luna in pink 
I maybe will do a white skirt to match this and then she'll have um, a pink skirt so that um, the colours sort of coordinate. But this is beautiful and so soft. Yes, loving it. Very nice. So, um, yeah, so that is the first one. And I think this might be Elle's one. So I was going to do Elle's in the white. Um, who's two. I was going to do Sienna's in the pink. She's four. And I was going to do Amelie in the ruby red. Because she's got slightly darker hair. I think it would suit her better. Um, whereas um, Sienna has got a sort of like a strawberry blonde. So that wouldn't go with red. So it'll either be the pink or the white. But they're all roughly the same size. Um, because C Sienna is really t petite. But um, yes, but I think I'll probably do that for Sienna. But, uh, and the white for Elle. Because she, she wears a lot of black and white. So yeah, really pleased with that. So um, I'm now moving on to the other part of this and um, I've made starting to make a start on the second one of this and um, I might, I don't know yet, but anyway, those, that's, what, that's what the plan is today and then I'll get back to you, but uh, see you later. Good morning YouTube, it's Friday the um, 10th. Uh, of September and uh, I just thought I'd come on and show you what I've got done so far. Oh, thank you. Cup of tea. So, um, ooh, let's put that down. Right, so um, as you remember, I'd made um, Luna's card and so I've done the first one and I've got uh, three more to do, each for the granddaughters, because that's my one. And I started on the um, ballet top. So I'll just show you the pattern. So, yeah. so I started on the ballet top there. And so far I have done, I've done all the pieces in white. So that is the that is the back for the littlest one. And then I've done a back for Sienna, who's four. And the back for Amelie, who's two. Going to be two in a couple of days. So um, I've done all the sleeve and the front in white. I've done the both fronts um, in this colour but not the sleeves so I'm hoping to get them at least the white one finished today so that I will have one finished item um, but the wool is so lovely and soft it's absolutely gorgeous so I'm really pleased how that's gone um, the pattern is quite straightforward it's a wrap and as you can see you knit the ties on it um, and then you tie at the side. I've gone for the short sleeve because if you go for the long sleeve version, you need to buy an extra ball of wool. And the wool was £4.50 each. So I thought, thought that was really a bargain, but obviously it makes it a lot more expensive if you have to double up. Um, so yes, I'm thinking I might do some sort of um, motif or flower or some, something there to decorate it with, um, but I'll see. But um, yeah, it's quite um, a reasonable pattern. A um, lot of notes I've had to make, as you can see. All my notes as I'm ticking it off. Um, but, uh, and that's why I've been doing all three at the same time, because then once I've done one, I go through with a different colour. So for the different sizes, and then uh, the black marks are the bigger size. So yeah, so. So I thought I don't want to have to come back to that and forget what my sort of shorthand version of that was. So um, I'm planning to get those done, hopefully finish them off this weekend. And then um, I popped into Tesco's this morning and um, just looking around. What did I go for? I think it was some hair dye, actually. <laughs> but I thought I'll just look at the magazines and I do get 
um, I do subscribe to Redley, so I don't normally buy any magazines. But I saw this and I got tempted because look, I thought, oh, I recognise that. That looks very much like a Mandy Shaw. And then when I looked at it, it was. So, um, yeah, it's a sewing pattern, how to guide for the Mandy Shaw reef. And I thought, wow. So, um, and it's got all, it says here, 29 pattern templates inside. So I thought, right, I might have a go at that um, for Christmas because I've got um, a bag of two um, reefs, three reefs, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, my daughter, who used to do photography, had these as um, props. And she, she got them for free, I think, when she worked Hobby Craft. So, because um, they didn't need them anymore. So I've got these and I thought, oh, well, I can cover it with fabric, but at least it's the circle. So I've got three of those. So I thought, that'll be ideal. And I'll make one of these wreaths and the kids will love them. The grandkids will love them because they're all sort of characters on there. So I thought that was a bargain. So, of course, I picked up the magazine for that. And what else did they have in here? Then they had... Um, another sewing project a gingerbread house so that looks lovely doesn't it so i thought oh i might give that a go and i think that's out of felt as well so yeah so that was good and then of course there's the magazine um but i'm not sure novelty i think it's sort of a christmas sew along so i think it's it's not a Oh, it says September, so it comes out every month, but they got some lovely bits and pieces in there, haven't they? So, um, I'm just have a quick look. I'm not sure if there's um, lots of sewing ideas and very Christmassy. Yes, there's the project for the gift. Um, I'm going to have to have a good look at this. But there's um, making a Christmas pudding. Oh, and it's it's even got it's even got some bits about um, Luna, Clementine cat. So um, how to make her dress. So that's nice. Um, fairy outfit for the girl. Um, another fairy to go on your tree that looks nice stocking so uh, yeah lots of bits and pieces lots of Christmas sew alongs yeah so um, I'd recommend that very good so I'm going to make some things out of that and I'll be showing them to you in the future. So I was pleased with that. That was that was good. It was I was a bit shocked at the price when I got to the till. It was 9.99, but I thought well I had several really good patterns. The other thing I got was um so Haley Jane box. So um I'm going to do that in a separate unboxing, but oh, that's exciting. So see what's uh, in there and the other thing I got was my poppy to fray autumn club and it's arrived it's the autumn embroidery club and uh, ooh. so yes I'm probably gonna unbox that in a separate thing but um, basically that is the autumn embroidery club and I think you get this and you get all the um, bits and pieces to go with it uh, but yes, oh, I can't wait. I'm going to do open that in a bit. So uh, yes, yeah, so all in all, um, a lovely day today. Lots of happy mail. So um, I'll call that uh, an end to the video now, um, and I'll get on with my knitting, and hopefully I'll be able to show you some finished pieces next time round. But uh, thanks for watching, and um, see you later. Bye for now.